Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 17 video on my channel and in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the 10th episode of my FIFA 17 Scaling Road to Glory. So to start this video off, I go and complete the hybrid intro League SBC. So we're going to get that kit there, 1000 coins and 2 rare gold player packs. So in the first pack we open it up and we go and get ourselves um, Asensio from Real Madrid and I also think that's an upgraded card and I actually do decide to go and sell him on and then I check the price of the um, Calcio A player but he wasn't selling for much so I just decided to send him to my club and then in the next patch, pack we actually go and get ourselves D Alexandro the 5 star skiller and of course I do keep him and send him to my club. So the first thing I want to talk about today is a new series that I will be starting on my channel next week and it's going to be called Trading to Man of the Match Di Maria. So you know it's pretty self-explanatory what it's going to be. So I'm going to be starting with a brand new account and I'm going to be trying to trade to Man of the Match Di Maria in the shortest possible time and then after that I'm hoping to trade to Second Inform Quadrado, then one to watch Depay. So this is sort of going to be like a new series on my channel called Trading 2, you know, dot dot dot. So yeah, I will be uploading that three times a week. And I'll also be uploading my Road to Glory three times a week now instead of seven times a week. Um, but you know, the videos will probably be longer because I'll probably record, you know, like two days worth of footage and put it into one video instead of uploading um, one day's worth of footage every day and then uploading it. So yeah, you'll still get the same amount of content, just won't be every day. And then once a week, probably on a Sunday or a Saturday, I will also be doing a player review. So I'm going to try and upload every single day consistently for, you know, just however long I possibly can. So yeah. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the foot birthday. And a lot of people thought that EA just weren't going to do it this year. Because on their actual birthday, they didn't announce anything, didn't do anything. So everybody thought it was over. But then on Friday, they tweeted out that they will be doing foot birthday this year. And it's starting next Friday. So this coming Friday, foot birthday will be starting. And I'm very excited about it because hopefully... They're going to be releasing some SBCs, some new kits, maybe some position change players, what they usually do every foot birthday. You know, for example, we could get a striker Ronaldo or a striker Bale. So that'd be really cool and interesting to see what EA do this year. There definitely won't be a tournament. They might do something with the daily knockout tournament, but, you know, they don't actually have online tournaments this year like they did last year. So I'm not really sure what they're going to do for that. Maybe they'll do an offline tournament, but I don't think... Um, that many people will find it interesting. So yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see what EA are going to do for the foot birthday this year. So now getting into the gameplay, we start off here in Division 6 on 6 points at the start of this video. We have to do a really good start here in this game, go 1-0 up and then go and score that really nice skill goal there with Aguero. Do a nice spin to a heel, heel, to a heel, to heel and then get a brilliant finish past the goalie into the bottom and left corner of the net. And then after that, this guy decides to rage quit and loads of people just seem to be rage quitting against me in this series. As you can probably already tell, I think literally every other game somebody seems to rage quit. So it's pretty mental. So yeah, and this is honestly the best record I've ever had on any account. At the end of this video, I think we're on like 33 wins, 2 draws and 1 loss. What is honestly an insane record. I know some of the matches have been offline in the um, offline cup. But I literally think we played 8 or 9. So we've basically got like 20 something wins two draws and one loss all in division so that's a very good record now getting into the next match this guy had a very nice team he had hazard in from valencia and i think he was definitely a man united fan because he had a few more man united players in his team such as de gea so straight away here we get our nice skill goal with Pereira. do this um pirate skill move then take a very nice finesse shot past david de gea into the net then later on in the match here we do a nice running waka waka with balassi to a ball roll to hocus pocus to an alaska chub run through and goal do a ball roll flick we get tackled here but we get it straight back here with balassi do a nice fake with Bronner, to fake ball roll to a scoop turn Go for the scissors to Waka Waka, take the shot, and again, his defender luckily is able to block the ball. Then, in the 36th minute here, we get the second goal of the match with Aguero. Some nice um, shield in there with Zuniga. Um, Lanzini plays it through to Aguero, who does a very nice finesse shot and slides it past the goalie. And just like our previous opponent, this guy decides to rage quit again. So, two out of two rage quits in this episode so far. We win the match 2 0, we get 546 coins. 
and I didn't actually show me doing this but I redeemed the EA Sports um, coin unlock what means we get an extra 200 coins for the next 10 matches so then in the next clip here as you can see I sold Lanzini and then I sold a few of the players who I brought from trading earlier on so the method I was actually using I was looking for positions um, for strikers out of their default position so for example players such as Remy in Cam and you know Zerata in Cam out of their default position and I because you can get some really good deals doing that and then he also did the silver 300 coin method so what it needs to do with that method is put the quality to silver go max pi price 300 coins and just search for the market so after doing that it enabled us to get enough coins to go and buy Gabriel Jesus and it was actually recommended by Jay so um, shout out to him for making me realize that um, we can fit another five star skillet into this team so now getting into the next match here this was the toughest match of the series so far and he has a very good team to be honest he had um, Inform Parolo that keen on loan for a few matches and then he also had their 87 rated team of the group stage Mertens so literally this game was so even and the first chance only came in the 60th minute here we'd go on a nice skill run with the grow go and take the fake shot does David Luiz and then we smash it past the goalie and then basically straight from kickoff he runs through here with Mertens and then gets a nice finesse shot and that literally was the only two chances that happened in the game it was such an even match it could have gone either way and I think a draw was a very fair result so we get 629 coins we are on 13 points currently in division 6 then after after this as you can see a few more of the players sold on and a few players sold on from the bronze pack method and I'm not actually showing me opening the bronze packs anymore because you know it's not very interesting to uh, watch I'll just show you the bronze packs if I do go and pack something like an inform and emre more etc so yeah all those cards go on to sell from the bronze pack method and trading so after that it enables us to get enough coins to go and buy our first inform of this series so as you can see inform Banega was actually out of contract so that was actually pretty sad as well hopefully we can get him back eventually when we get the coins and we do go and purchase the one and only inform silver card Diego Farias so we're going to put him in that cam position and the reason I went with him is just because he looks so good for a silver card and he has four star skill moves so we decided to apply the dead eye chemistry uh, style to and what improves his shooting and passing because you know he definitely needs that passing upgrade for a cam then after this I went and submitted um, 33 bronze players and got these three um, two player silver packs so yeah the first pack there we get some Bundesliga 2 center mid so not the best really probably not going to use him unless in we use him in the marquee matchups and then in the next pack here we go and open it and we do go and get a sell at Brazilian Cam from the Liga Santander so he could be very useful um, later on in this series I thought he had four star skill moves but sadly he only has three star so after doing that I go and send him to my club and we go straight into the next pack and then as you can see guys in this pack we go and get a left back from Mexico in Ponce um, looks like an, not a very good card to be honest, low pace and he has decent physical but um, no more standout stats. So yeah, we go and um, submit in or place him into our squad, um, not a squad, into our club. So after that, as you can see, Zerati went to Salon, we actually lost some coins on him. So anyway guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.